Hello, my name is Jay, and welcome back to my Tech Vault. And today we're going to be talking about the new AMD Ryzen motherboards, what's new in them. Uh, that would be the AMD Ryzen 570 X570 chipset and the B550 chipset. Um, both these motherboards, I don't believe there's going to be, or at the time there hasn't been announced, um, an A. Uh, 320 wall it would be a 520 uh, chipset actually we're, right now currently none of these have been announced but we can pretty much get a pretty solid idea of what we expect to be on these and what will actually end up being new on them so first off as you can tell I've got uh, I've actually built the majority of my systems with um, AMD components because a lot of people that I build systems for are more workstation slash streaming you know users so that's why I have a majority of AMD parts I do have some Intel parts in here but mostly AMD so that's I know what I'm kind of talking about here and I've got a little bit of past experience with what we did with the beef chip or the 300 series chipsets to the 400 series chipsets now to the 500 series chipsets so I've got a little bit of uh, credentials there so let's talk about first off I did a video uh, I think it was almost a year now, a year ago, that I compared the 300 series to the 400 series and kind of went over what we're, we were expecting to see. And we ended up actually seeing um, a lot of things happen. Uh, we saw, you know, better overclocking, um, better VRMs, a lot of, just a long list of stuff. So I want to also take a moment to talk about um, individually, there will of course be the wide range of motherboards. Uh, you know, the, some motherboards with very good VRMs, some motherboards with very bad VRMs, some motherboards that are just complete garbage, some motherboards with good RGB support, others without it, there'll be a lot of range. But I can pretty much accurately give you an idea of how well the overclocking uh, should work, how some of the performance will work, and things like that. So. One of the biggest things that everyone's really hyped about and excited about um, for the new motherboards is I believe AMD actually announced that the 500 series will come um, with PCIe 5.0 or f I believe it's actually sorry 4.0 4.0 um, support, which basically means that the bandwidth doubles again, uh, so that you know future graphics cards, um, future. Uh, expansion slots have the full bandwidth to the processor. Now, currently no graphics card or no you know, expansion item that I can think of um, actually ends up using that much bandwidth um, to the processor, but if you were to consider maybe in a couple years down the road, um, then you, know, you might want to think about this is a good idea for, of course, future-proofing your build. Also keep in mind that this is the last AM4 platform chipset. That means that AMD has already confirmed that they are no longer supporting the AM4 platform or the AM4 socket in 2020. So this is the 2019 release. So I'd expect to of course see this AM4 socket, obviously. I'd probably expect to see higher um, RAM overclocking or higher RAM support. Um, I believe we saw something like 2000, I don't know, I, I believe that we saw something around the 3000 megahertz mark, so I expect something a little bit higher, um, and that was on, of course, the 400 series chipsets. I expect, of course, to see something higher than that. Um, I obviously don't know exact numbers, but we were expecting to see a, a pretty good increase there as well. Obviously, the motherboards themselves will, of course, include better overclocking support, similar to the, the generations that we saw, the 300 and the 400 series chipsets, the uh, 5000 or X570 chipset will be equivalent, um, will be the, of course the best. The B550 chipset will be equivalent to around the X470 chipset. Um, and it will of course have similar levels of performance and overclocking. Obviously the VRMs really also end up determining um, some of your overclocking support there. <clears throat> so obviously with these new processors, um, that's probably going to have AMD's store my technology in there. Um, honestly, that was a big selling point when those came out. That was something I didn't actually end up covering in my video because I didn't know about it. Um, and so that was, of course, a big like announcement, which I haven't actually ended up hearing much about. I actually haven't even seen it in some of the BIOSes that I've been going over. So it's, it's kind of something that's been hidden, but I would assume would be there as well. So since this is AMD's last um, AM4 platform or AM4 socket motherboards, um, I want to take a moment to what is not going to be on um, these motherboards. First off, DDR5 support. There is not going to be any DDR5 RAM on these motherboards. Why? Well, because in order to do the 
um, support the DDR5, they'd have to get a different socket. Um, the way the bandwidth or the way that it's routed to the processor um, in order to support the previous generation processors and to support newer generation proce processors, um, especially since I don't believe the standard has been officially um, published, or I believe it may have, but not um, finalized. Um, it's really difficult for them to, you know, be planning that far ahead in the future for something that doesn't even, you know, have a standard, an idea of what it's going to be. So, of course, we're not going to see any DDR5 RAM in there. Um, we're not going to see, um, honestly, this is probably going to be the last AM4 chipset um, or AM4 socket motherboards. And I say that because any future processors, as I said, with the release of the DDR5, will pretty much make the old sockets only work for DDR4, um, AMD, uh, Ryzen processors, and that's about it for at least the 3000 to 1000 series. We might have an AMD 4000 series, which I believe is the Zen Plus, or Zen 2 Plus, but um, that will of course be on the 20, or the, in the year 2020 with the AMD 600 chipset if they continue the same lineup. So that's obviously what's not going to be there. But I want to say thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully I was answer, able to answer your questions. If I wasn't, um, there's a Discord server in the description if you want to go down there, uh, send me a DM, ask a question. Obviously there's the comment section if you're interested in that. And of course shout out the channel for other cool tech related news, reviews, builds, um, unboxings, things of that nature. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.